Hey, Thomas, how are you? Good, how about yourself? I'm good, I'm good. Tell me about practicing for the first time. I, I, I know I know you went through some all-star stuff, but, but, but was it weird to be back out there after um, sitting out with the coronavirus stuff last year? It wasn't it wasn't weird for me personally. I think the senior bowl just helped just being able to actually be out there and be in football. So it wasn't truly that far away from me. I think the only thing is I just kind of got to get adjusted to the, the calls and the checks. Sometimes I make the same checks I was when I was back in college. And you feel me? That, they ain't the same. <laughs> Dude, were people looking at you like, what the heck do you mean? <laughs> Uh, a, a little bit, but we was all kind of doing it. You know, we all, it's all our first time in this defense. So we just trying to get adjusted so we can go out there and play fast. Alex? Hey, Thomas. The yeah. Bears may have an opening here at Nickel Corner. Have your coaches talked to you about that opportunity or are you aware of that opportunity in front of you um, to maybe get a starting job? Uh, they, they just told me that they want me to come in here and learn to play, but be able to play both corner and nickel. So uh, they, they told me, just go out there and compete, do as best as you can. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, me personally, I want to go out there and start, but nothing is given in this league. You got to go take it and you got to earn it. Sean? Hey, just wondering what your initial impressions are working with Sean Desai. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Um, definitely because uh, this, he runs a similar, he comes from the same tree as, as my first defensive coordinator in college. Uh, so I spent two years in that defense. I just kind of got to get used to the calls and the checks, but just being able to play with somebody um, that actually can can do the things and as smart as he is defensive wise and switch everything up. He can play everything man zone and everything under the sun. So I'm just glad that I, I get to be able to work under him. Colleen? Hey, Thomas, just wondering from a defensive perspective, what what were your impressions of Justin Fields this weekend? Oh, he, I wish I got the, you feel me, be able to say I got the impression um, in college, but due to COVID, I didn't. But it, it, it's great to be able to play with somebody with talent like that. Uh, he can put zip on the ball. He can put some air on it. Uh, I think he's going to be a very great quarterback in this upcoming future. We talk about Jim Levitt, was he? I'm trying to think. Who was your first coordinator? Um, Jim Levitt. Yes, sir. And what What is similar and what is different? Um, they just come from the same tree, so uh, they they run uh, a similar defense. So for me personally, it wasn't like I'm coming into a whole organization that runs like a completely different defense that I've never seen before. I've seen it. Um, it's just different calls, different checks, different meanings to certain things, but overall the same concept. Steve. Yeah, Thomas, what had you heard about life in the NFL? And even early on so far, what have you, has your experience been like in the NFL? It's just different. Uh, it's, it's very professional. Everything is really kind of on your own. And they told me, all my friends that I know, that um, I had an organ that left the last two, three years. And then the ones I grew up with, uh, they told me it was going to be like this. I kind of thought it was, but it really is showing that you you on your own. You got to be able to be accountable to yourself. Joe Lewis. Yeah, you, you spoke about how the, the big differences between the college level and the professional level. In your brief experience now, how drastic has the speed been in different in comparison to what it was in college? Uh, yeah, I don't think the speed is very different. I think it's just being able to learn the playbook and, and be able to play fast. And I feel like that's a, a major difference. Definitely coming in as a rookie, I don't, I don't know the defense. Um, I got a chance to learn some of it, but I didn't really know all of it uh, before I got here. So, being able to play fast uh, once you learn it is, I think, it's gonna be able to slow the game down for me. Just kind of being a freshman in college all over again. Got time for a couple more, Sean? I know numbers have been a little bit limited here this weekend. Was was that Mike Adams jumping out with you guys in seven on sevens? Yes, it was. He was out there killing the post or when he had half, whatever he had, he was doing. He, from, he got a couple of blitzes in there, too. So it was good to be able to actually play with a person that, that's played in the league in, for 17 years. And I want to be able to be in that position one day. So it was glad that I actually got the opportunity to do that. Yeah. What's it like having a veteran like that uh, to, to learn from here? It, it's amazing because you, you get to 
learn like the little things um, because that's what this whole game is about. It's a game of inches. So he, he's telling you the little things, how to communicate the right way, um, how to talk the right way and, and how to move and do things the right way to actually make sure you last in this league. And last one, Pat. I think Pro Football Focus had you as like the 70th best player in the draft, something like that. Why do you think you fell as far as you did, or, or why do you think you were picked where you were? And what does does that do anything to your confidence? Does that do anything to your motivation? Um, I I personally don't really know what uh, made me drop or something like that, um, or even if I was actually rated that high. That was just their rankings, but. All that did was just kind of put a chip on my shoulder. Uh, and I've always played with a chip on my shoulder. I've always been an underdog. So I'm just going out there, ready to go play, ready to go ball and do the things that I've always done my whole life. It was just go out there and make my family proud. What did you do the, the last day of the draft? What was the setup there? And, and were you were you watching TV? Did you get away from it? Uh, what was that day like? Um, to be honest, I, I did get away from the TV after the fifth round, um, but my agent called me, my parents called me, and they just said, we believe in you just as much as you believe in yourself. Your name is going to get called. When it is, take advantage of that opportunity. Where'd you go when you got away from the TV? Uh, I was at uh, an Airbnb, so I just kind of just went to the back room and I just started watching my favorite TV shows. So I started watching Naruto. What, what is it? I'm sorry? Naruto. Okay. And where was the Airbnb? Uh, it was in Newport Beach. So after I got drafted, I did uh, go out there and run on the beach. Um, a happy moment for me and my family.